Okay, let's have a look around this uh, 1998 on an S Land Rover Defender 110 County Station Wagon 300 TDI. So one of the last of the uh, 300 TDIs on an S plate. Um, finished in uh, Rioja Red Metallic, and it's the original colour. Don't think it's ever had any paintwork, this one either. Um, nice original on Gotak car, has got a few sort of uh, minor extras to it. It's a full 12 seater. Um, with all the belts and stuff. It's got a matching set of Michelin 750x16 sort of army spec tyres and I think on the uh, original boost alloys. It's got uh, side steps although the offside rear side step is slightly twisted. It's got checker plate on the wing tops and the bonnet and it's got a ram air, um, ram air vent for the heater. That's about it in terms of its extras. Uh, it's got a radio CD inside rear step, uh, adjustable tow pack, the, the ball is inside the car, um, and so it's a full 12 seater and it is uh, say very very uh, original, never had any paintwork, very honest, so there's a few sort of blemishes and things on it as you'd expect but it is a, uh, it is a defender after all that. Um, not had many owners this one either from memory, let's walk around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Um, very very straight, especially around the front wing areas, this is all quite nice. Um, front wing is uh, nicely undented, there's a very slight sort of scratch just there at the bottom of the near side front wing but um, they all remain in good shape. Looking down the side apart from a couple of uh, dents in the barrel side on the um, on the near side front door and a slightly crinkled modesty cover it all looks uh, pretty good by Defender standards. Um, bit of lacquer loss on the back of the eyebrow just here on the near side front eyebrow and a few scratches up here. Scuttle corner looks first class all looks very nice there. Um, a post looks very good as well. There's a couple of um, bigger scratches along here which go down into the door uh, and a couple of scratches here and here on the near side door as well. Um, but not much electrolytic reaction on this one which is quite nice. Interior wise it's not bad at all. Um, reasonably clean. The middle seat is actually, I didn't notice until just now, the middle seat's obviously from a, um, a slightly earlier vehicle because the, um, the trim pattern is slightly different but you've got to look hard to spot it shall we say, um, but I think it's going to be too worried about that. It's still got all its carpets in which perhaps could do with a bit of a, a, bit of a clean but um, not bad for all that, there's a spare washer from somewhere. Uh, but all the proper county station wagon stuff is all there. Doors, near side door is excellent actually, that is really good that near side front door, very good indeed. B and C post all looks good from there, near side rear door looks good, inside here all the side channels look nice, um, near side rear door is fabulous actually, I think it's the original door, paint match is perfect but um, it's incredibly good. Um, all the rear seats are all there. Uh, door card's slightly chewed at the bottom edge, but uh, um, the near side Alpine light has been sealed up at the top there. It's obviously leaked at some point in the past. <coughs> a couple of um, scratches on the gutters. It's obviously had a roof rack on it at some point. Near side rear wing, all pretty good. A little bit of paint loss just down the bottom of the wing there, but around the um, the corners on this side, it's all nice. Tailgate isn't wonderful, there is some electrolytic reaction here and all the way down there as always and along the bottom edge. Um, but it still shuts properly and it still uh, doesn't um, sag on the frame. But the, the frame is going up here, it's gone very crusty up at the top corner there. But the bottom of the frame, possibly been repaired in that corner, and slightly rusty there. But um, generally the bottom of the frame isn't too bad at all. It's still got some life left in at the tailgate, it's not um, imminent need of replacement. In the back here you've still got the, got the rear seat, there's a mark on the offside rear seat there and the um, stitching has come away on the top of the seat here where it uh, fastens down. In fact you can actually put that back in, that just needs to be uh, um, tucked in on both sides. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, offside rear, there's a slight depression just there where the spare wheel's opened against it. Um, Looking down the offside again, looks pretty straight. A um, couple of dents in the barrel sides and stuff, but uh, there's a couple of scratches just down here, just uh, behind the um, rear eyebrow. 
but that all looks nice. Again, a few bits of paint loss on the guttering where the roof rack's been taken off. Again, that Alpine light has been sealed on that side. Um, modest, modesty cover's a bit crinkled on the, on the offside rear corner just there. Uh, offside door looks okay from the outside. Um, side frame all looks good. B&C post looks good. The offside door has rotted in the usual place just there. Um, but the base of the door again isn't too bad at all. Still shuts nicely. Um, offside front door's got some electro electrolytic reaction in the, in the bottom outer corner. Um, a couple of marks just here where something's someone's tried to break into it at some point. Uh, scuffle corner on the offside again is first class, really nice, as is the A post. Offside front wing has got a selection of sort of tiny scratches all the way along there, obviously where someone's clambered onto, the, onto here, I guess. Um, and a slight depression just there in the barrel side, but no more than that. And inside here on the driver's side, dash is all nice, driver's seat's all good. Again, it's got its carpets in. They could do with a bit of a clean. But, uh, um, and the driver's door frame isn't, again, isn't bad at all. And it's got no movement in the hinges. So, um, yeah, not bad at all, actually, from its door frames and stuff. A little bit of bubbling in them, but no more than that. That's about it, really. It's rather nice to say it is one of the last, uh, being on an S-plate, it's one of the last of the 300 TDIs. My name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495 or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further info. We take part exchanges, we take Visa and MasterCard, credit cards and debit cards with a 2% surcharge for credit cards and we can have it shipped or delivered anywhere you like in the world. Certainly the UK and Europe is no problem at all, otherwise it goes on a boat. That's about it. End.